Okay, so we're going to quickly show how to get started with a CloudFront distribution. Um, so we're going to store some objects in an S3 bucket, make them accessible to everyone, make the objects accessible to everyone, and then use a CloudFront domain name in the URL for the object. So um, we will go ahead and get started with the S3 portion um, where we upload some com content to S3 and then we grant uh, object permissions. So I created this this bucket here and I made it publicly accessible and there uh, there are a couple things that you need to know about uh, permissions here. So if we go to permissions you need to turn block all public access off. Um, and you can see I actually have a bucket policy here from um, a CloudFront uh, origin but we can go ahead and delete that because that is not in play here. So let's go ahead and delete that was from a previous test. So we have no bucket policy. Um, bucket policy is how you, you grant access or provide access to the objects stored in the bucket. Um, but the main thing, because by default, your block public access will be turned on. So we need to turn that off because we have to allow public read access to the bucket and the files so that the CloudFront URLs can serve content from the bucket. So you can restrict the access to, to specific content by using the CloudFront private content feature, but we're not going to do that in, in this demo. Um, so we, uh, you could see we had a couple of objects there. So if we go back to objects, basically just a hello world um, index.html and a cascading style sheet there. So if we take a look at this index.html um, and if we click on the object URL, and we load it over here. I've already I've already loaded it, but I'll go ahead and reload it. You can see it's just a hello world. So very simple. So the next thing we need to do is go to CloudFront. So let's go ahead and do that. And we will create a distribution. So the origin domain is going to be the bucket that we created. And for the other settings under origin settings, we can we can leave that to the default. Uh, for the settings under default cache behavior, we're going to also um, have the have the default. So distribution will also be the default, and we're just going to go ahead and create this. Okay, so we now have the the distribution. Um, and you can see that it's deploying over here on the right hand side. So we'll want to wait till the deployment is done to actually test this. But the next step is to access the content through CloudFront. So we're accessing the S3 content through CloudFront. Uh, so the way you do that, you combine your CloudFront distribution domain name with the path to access the content. So what is the distribution domain name uh, right here? So this is the uh, URL that AWS assigned for the distribution. And we combine that with uh, the index.html. So you could take this, and if you put it in the browser, it's not going to work because the site can't be reached because we didn't specify slash index.html. And we're also still not able to uh, access it because the um, distribution is not done deploying. So if we refresh this page and wait till it's done deploying, we'll be able to see the hello world. Okay, so the distribution is done distributing. And now if I go to the CloudFront URL slash index.html and reload this page, I should get my hello world. And I do. So if you want to take this a step further, let's say we wanted to change uh, index.html. Um, I've gone ahead and done that, and I want to uh, make that change. So let's go to S3. So let's say that I wanted to make a change to index.html. I wouldn't do that within S3, but I would upload a new version of index.html. I've already made the change on my local machine. I changed it from hello world to hello worlds, plural. So I'm going to upload that file, and then we're going to take a look at it. Okay, so I just uploaded the new file. So if I go 
to the website, or sorry, the CloudFront URL and reload it, I do not see my change. And that is because I did not invalidate the object or the asset. So I need to go to CloudFront. I need to go to the distribution and I need to go to invalidations and create an invalidation. So we add the object path. And uh, in this case, it's just index.html. So we create this invalidation. Actually, sorry, with a forward slash. OK, so the invalidation is complete. So now if we go to our CloudFront URL and reload it, we get access denied. And that's probably because the S3 uh, uh, bucket permissions were inherited. So I'm going to go to S3 and check that. So we're going to go to the index.html and make public using ACL. And we're going to go ahead and make public and successfully edited public access. So we'll close this and now go back to the URL and reload. And now it, now it works with my change. So be careful if you are editing files and they're suddenly inaccessible after you upload the new version. But if you do want to make changes in this way, that's how you do it. You create an invalidation which basically strikes the assets at the CloudFront Edge locations and replaces them with the new value. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know. And thanks for watching.